Having a great website is essential for my business, but no matter how well it's designed, how great it looks, or how well optimized, if the hosting is slow, unreliable, or clunky, my site's never gonna perform. So when I started building a new site for my new venture, I really wanted to be sure my hosting wouldn't hold me back. That's when I came across loads of recommendations for Bluehost. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through my personal experience switching to and using Bluehost, what I liked, what didn't go so smoothly, and whether I still think it's worth trying. So by the end, you'll have a clearer picture of who Bluehost is really best for and whether it could be the right fit for your next website project. All right, let's dive in. Now, if you're not familiar with Bluehost, it's a well-known web hosting platform that caters to a wide range of users, from first-time bloggers to major companies managing sophisticated websites. After giving it a try myself, I've begun to understand why so many individuals and businesses rely on it. Bluehost provides a full range of hosting options, including shared, WordPress, VPS, and dedicated server plans. One of their standout features for me was that they include a free domain for the first year, easy one-click WordPress installation, and a complimentary site migration tool that takes the hassle out of moving from another host. Another reassuring factor for me was that Bluehost is officially recommended by WordPress.org, which gave me confidence in both compatibility and reliability. And if you ever need help, their customer support is available 24 seven through phone or live chat. It definitely takes some of the pressure off during setup, especially if you're new to building websites. Now getting started with Bluehost is pretty simple. After you pick a hosting plan, you'll go through a quick setup process where you can register a new domain or connect one you already own. From there, Bluehost gives you the option to install WordPress automatically with just one click, which is a big help if you're not familiar with manual setup. Once you're in, the main dashboard is where you manage everything, your websites, domains, email accounts, and more. The interface has been updated to be more user-friendly, so even if you're new to hosting, it doesn't feel overwhelming. And if you need more advanced controls, no worries. You can still use the classic C panel under the advanced tab. Bluehost also facilitates you with essential security features that every hosting service should include. You'll get free SSL to secure your site, regular backups, DDoS protection, malware scans, and a built-in firewall in every plan. On the performance side, there's built-in caching to help your site load faster, plus a staging environment that lets you test updates safely before pushing them live. When it comes to plans, Bluehost offers five hosting types, standard hosting, WordPress, VPS, dedicated, and cloud-based services. This makes Bluehost a versatile pick for a broad range of users, from those who just need the basics to professional web developers. Now, starting on Bluehost's basic plan, with a little less than $3 a month, you can get support for up to 10 websites, and it gets you 10 gigabytes worth of storage, as well as a free domain name in your first year. If you're looking for more flexibility, the Choice Plus plan upgrades the features of the basic plan, offering hosting for up to 50 websites and 50 gigabytes of storage for about $4 a month. On top of that, included is domain privacy protection and daily backups for the first year, giving you a bit more peace of mind. Or if you're managing an online store, you can opt for one of their e-commerce packages. For around $7 a month, the e-commerce essentials plan, for instance, will give you 100 gigabytes of data and support unlimited products while providing additional features you might need to manage your business, like secure online payments and email campaign management. And for those needing greater performance or scalability, you should look at Bluehost's other plans. For example, their VPS hosting plan, priced from around $47 a month. This gives you greater control with root access, unmetered bandwidth, and high-speed NVMe storage. It also includes a cPanel license and free website migrations, which came in handy when I transferred a client's site to Bluehost. And for maximum performance, Bluehost's dedicated hosting plan starts at around $141 per month. This option is perfect for large-scale projects that require top-tier speed, enhanced security, 
and full customization capabilities, as it gives you full use of a dedicated server. Now, if you've heard something here that stood out and you want to try Bluehost for your next website, then you can get started by using the affiliate link down in the description below. You'll get a discount for all of their plans, which you wouldn't find if you went directly through their website. Now, in my experience, Bluehost does pretty well in terms of service for people looking to scale or customize their plans to fit the unique goals of their website. Though if the site you want to build doesn't need to look super fancy or have any complicated functions, then honestly, you might be able to get away with using a simpler, cheaper platform. But for those looking for a little more in terms of features like storage space and high amounts of RAM, Bluehost is probably the best way to go. Though one other issue, and this really applies for shared hosting in general, not just for Bluehost specifically, but generally the downside of shared hosting is that if you get too much traffic on your site, the server will be at capacity, which will slow you down, as well as any other websites that share the server. So if you're anticipating lots of traffic, or say you're running an e-commerce site that runs special deals around the holidays, you might want to think about not using shared hosting because the last thing you want to do is have your website crash during a major shopping season or similar routine operations that bring high traffic. However, Bluehost does offer plenty of features that I really liked, such as being able to easily scale up your storage or the type of hosting plan you choose. And as I mentioned, the website uptimes are really fast, meaning you most likely won't have to worry about slow loading speeds. Plus, I really liked that all of their plans offered Cloudflare protection, which is software that prevents DDoS attacks or dedicated denial of service, which is basically when attackers or hackers flood your site with a bunch of fake traffic to slow it down or prevent it from functioning normally. Attacks like that wreak havoc on websites every day, causing them to crash. So knowing my hard work is protected gives me so much needed peace of mind. So at the end of the day, there are plenty of web hosting options out there. But if you're looking for something that's easy to manage, offers a solid mix of features, and can actually grow with your site, then Bluehost is definitely worth checking out. I found it to be reliable and straightforward, and I really appreciate how it brings everything together in one place, from domains and email to backups and basic security, without making things feel overcomplicated. Whether you're just starting out or building something more advanced, it's a platform that makes the process feel a lot less overwhelming. And that's all for this review. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, then please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more like this. And as a reminder, if you want to get started with Bluehost, then you can use the affiliate link down in the description at no extra cost to get a discount that you won't find if you go directly through their website. Now, as always, I enjoy hearing your thoughts, so go ahead and leave your questions or comments down below, and I'll try to get back to them as fast as I can. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.